Why is it that a high cortisol state sends us into a hypothyroid state? It makes perfect sense when you look at how our physiology is working. Because although we encounter a saber-toothed tiger or get into a fight infrequently in nature, the human animal was more commonly subjected to periods of starvation. So when we're in a high cortisol state, when we are catabolizing and breaking down our body, we move to a relatively low thyroid state, and it all makes sense. Because we as human animals can survive with a basal body temperature of 35 degrees centigrade as opposed to the normal 37. Yeah, we don't feel so good. We're constipated, moody. We've got no energy, no libido. Our mental cycles are off, but we stay alive. What happens is cortisol affects the thyroid hormone across a number of its different places of production, centrally in the brain, in the thyroid gland, and as well in the peripheral tissues where we see less conversion of T4 to T3 and more production of reverse T3. All these things are geared towards putting us into a low metabolic state to keep us alive. But if you guys want to know everything about cortisol in a high state, what the symptoms are, the best way to measure it, and the three scientifically proven supplements that can lower cortisol, I'd invite you to meet me in a more comprehensive video that's linked in the description below, and I'll see you there. Take care.